I'm Diana Belchase, and I'm here today with Brenda Novak, who is a best-selling New York Times and U.S. Today author, and she's written over 40 books. She's finaled in the Rita's three times, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you today for being with us. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, one of the things I've heard is that every time you go out to speak, that little things happen <laughs> that are unplanned. And I was wondering if you could tell us what some of those things are and how you cope with them. Yes, well, the first time I had a mishap with my speaking engagements was I was invited to speak to a multi-genre conference at, in Denver. And so I packed up and eagerly went and I was very excited and I landed in the middle of a very busy hotel with men and women since it was multi-genre, not all women like typically you find at RWA. And I realized I had forgotten to pack my underwear. Oh no! So I was standing in the middle of a sea of people trying to figure out who am I going to stop to see because you know, I had no car. They had dropped me off um, mm -hmm. at the airport or picked me up from the airport, dropped me off at the hotel. And, and then I didn't realize at that point until I started unpacking. And I realized, oh, I don't have any underwear and my escort's gone and who do I tell? So anyway, I did find a romance writer in the group um, who uh, told me that they would have their husband take me shopping oh, for underwear. No. <laughs> So then, the next time I was supposed to speak was in Seattle, and uh, I would guess I was just so over eager to go, or so worried about going, that I packed up and I got all ready. And I mean, I, I got, I think, three hours of sleep that night. I didn't go into bed at midnight. Got up at three, because I thought I had a 6 a.m. flight. Uh -huh. So I rushed all the way out to the Sacramento airport. My husband unloads, and I handed my itinerary. It was so dark, and my eyes were so tired. I, it was very small, I couldn't see it. And he had all these glasses. He said, what time does it say my plane actually leaves? And then he was, oh. 6 p.m. Oh no, the longest layover ever. <laughs> yeah, so we drove all the way back home and then we came back for that. Um, and then the next time I went to speak was in Florida and a fellow writer named uh, Roxanne um, St. Clair was rushing to catch up with me in the restaurant. They, their meeting was in a restaurant and we had to go through this very crowded part of the restaurant to get to the back room where I was to speak. And she's Brenda, Brenda, running after me and, and I turn around to see what's wrong and, and I had worn a dress that, that connects with three buttons here and that made it feel like it was close to me and I forgot to zip up the zipper and it was way down below my oh. bottom. So <laughs> she was me. catching up to try and <laughs> zip me up. So <laughs> I mean, you know how they say unfortunate things come in threes. So I'm hoping I'm done with my mishaps with speaking engagement. Well I certainly hope so, but you look beautiful today. I need to ask, do you have your underwear? I do, I have my underwear <laughs> on and everything has gone smoothly for this one. <laughs> well thank you for talking to us today, Brenda. I really appreciate it. I'm Diana Belchase here with Brenda Novak and uh, thank you for watching.